Gee, I um, if it's all right and if you're comfortable talking about it, I know we're having a laugh and everything, but there's obviously a serious aspect to your life when you were growing up and where you come from. There was obviously Dunblane and you being in the same class, I think, as Andy Murray. Yeah. How, how did that tragedy touch like, um, yourself and the whole community? Yeah, like it's, it's tough. Like that, obviously, it was the like 25th anniversary um, a couple of weeks ago, which... You know, you never forget it, but like, especially on um, like major anniversaries, it just brings it all back. But yeah, like, uh, I, I I didn't talk about it for a long time. Like, um, and maybe that's wrong. Like, you hear about like mental health and stuff like that, and people say talking about it helps. And you know, I, I'm just the kind of person that didn't want to like you know bother anyone about it or like just even my mates back were back in Dunblane. We just you, you don't talk about it to each other, but. Um, but recently, you know, I kind of opened up and it just, it helps a little bit. Like, um, <clears throat> like it was, a, it was a tough, tough day. Like obviously I, like what happened was that, um, you know, he came to cause trouble, uh, damage to the whole school on Wednesday mornings. It was like a school assembly. Um, he came to kind of catch the whole school, like in that assembly, um, he went in, there was, uh, the assembly didn't happen that week. Uh, you know, I, I think there was like um, school plays going on and stuff like that. So we we're doing other things, but the next best thing uh, for him was the, the school gymnasium, which was next door. And unfortunately, um, you know, it was a little five and six year olds that were uh, in the gym at that point. And, you know, obviously, you know, what happens after that, but like, yeah, I, I, I see myself as, you know, being one of the lucky ones and that, you know, I was only like, I was really close by, I guess, but like, I didn't see anything hor horrific. Um, I was luckily, we were kind of in the corridor and then we got ushered into a, a small room, um, not knowing what was going on. Uh, we just got told to get under chairs and as close to the kind of window as possible, like underneath the window um and like we at that point we didn't know what was going on um and then more and more you know of my kind of fellow peoples got brought into the room and it was at that point i think they'd, they'd started crawling so i think like they obviously heard what was going on and like they were like oh someone's in the school with a gun and um and then you know you kind of like obviously start to panic and uh you you, you look out the window and like you the the police have just surrounded the whole building and it's it's obviously already finished at this point but you have no idea what's going on um and um you know we were stuck in that room for like six six hours i think but you know we you know we didn't as i said i didn't see anything um bad that will haunt me for the rest of my life obviously we know what happened and a few of my friends lost brothers and sisters but um you know what was probably worse was for my parents was, you know, they, they had no idea what was going on. Um, they didn't know who was, you know, whose class it was that had been affected. And my mum was up outside the school, but my, my dad was down in London for a meeting. Um, and, you know, he heard on the radio, I think it was, that there'd been a school shooting in Dumbling Primary. And he was like, that's my, both me and my brother, my son's school. Um, so he tried calling home, but all the phone lines were down. He had no idea what was like going on. Just obviously jumped on a flight back as soon as he could. And, you know, by the time he got home, I was home, but like, it was the first time I, like I first in one of two times I've seen my dad cry. Um, so yeah, it was like horrendous day to be honest, but, um, just, yeah, so, sorry. Uh, yeah. No, kind of no, no, gee, sorry. And honestly, uh, it, Sorry if I put you in a position you've ever really talk about it, but I, it, for, from my memory, obviously being Scottish as well, it, it was one of those stories that as soon as it broke, even before the internet, it reverberated around the whole of Scotland, from Dunblane out and then down to England, the whole of the UK, and it was it went worldwide. And I, I don't think it's anything that will ever be forgotten. Yeah. Almost, obviously in Dunblane, but I think everybody felt the pain that happened there. It was one of those first major things in our country we had to experience. And for you to be so close to that, mate, my heart was out of you even still because of it. Uh, thanks, Mac. Um, yeah, it was, as I said, like, I'd never talked about it. Like, I, I remember, like, 
I don't know if you saw the documentary um, yeah. a couple of weeks ago, but like JMO texted me saying, Oh, Dunblane, like, and like he was like, you, you weren't there, were you? And I was like, Yeah, I was like, So, like, that's what I mean. Like, guys that are that close to me don't, like, I just never talk about it. So, like, but again, like, speaking to my missus, like, it's just like, maybe, maybe I do need to talk about it more. Not, and again, I never really thought I was, sorry. Maybe a bit of therapy actually talking about it might might do. Yeah. Like, well, she, my missus says like, yeah, you should like. Um, but like, as I said, I never like. I see myself as one of the lucky ones there that day. Like, my like my brother's class like um, got shot into. So like, my brother never talks okay. about. It. So I feel I feel bad talking about it when my bro- like I know my brother doesn't like. Um, but like, if yeah, it kind of affects us all in different ways. And um, but for like, I mean, I was a nine year old kid when it happened but like Dunblane is the smallest you won't know maybe well Mac what you might have been yeah um it's like 10 well 10 to 12 thousand people yeah everyone knows everyone um and like you know when I got home like my house is literally across the field the school field so like you can see it from my house um and like so the world's media was just literally like everywhere like um so yeah just how did you process that as a kid I don't know, like, I just, I kind of looped, I try and think back to what I was like at the time, and, like, did I really realise what just happened, like, the, how how enormous it was, and I think, yeah, obviously I did, but, like, you just kind of wanted to, like, blank it out as much as possible. I, I remember, like, breaking down, uh, like, there was a documentary on not long after it, and, I, like, his, the, I don't even want to say his name. No, but yeah. Came, no, exactly. on, came, came on, the sc- his face came on the screen, and I just, like, I, yeah broke down really but um but yeah like just uh just a horrible horrible man and how 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 he could do that to to those little kids i mean obviously everyone in primary school is young but they were like the first year kids um and but yeah what, like my it was my my first teacher uh, my primary one teacher three years before that that was she was the one that, that got killed but absolutely yeah, hero like kids, right am i right she, yeah like the obviously yeah she she got hit a few times and but she was trying to protect her class and well, hero. just a yeah always be a hero to us and... so coming coming out of that then somebody who's got shared experiences with you and somebody you've stayed a lifelong friend with that we did mention there was it was andy murray and you were a guest at his wedding i think weren't you you, you stayed yeah. in contact with him as a lifelong friend Thanks for watching 4,000 and Counting Clips. If you want to hear the rest of the episode, you can head over to Apple or Spotify now. Do that right now. While you're there, don't forget to leave a five-star review if you enjoyed the content. While we got you on our YouTube, make sure you subscribe and there's going to be plenty more videos coming soon.